Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to episode 2 of the Germans 1930s campaign. At the moment we have a raider attack. We are raiding enemy waters, but a strong enemy fleet is operating in the area. Should we advance? Well, yes, because the other two buttons don't work. I am looking at the Admiral Scheer, First Bismarck and Rhineland heavy cruisers. Against the Drake, Bonaventura, two destroyers, the Sick and the Strenuous, and the battlecruiser Devastation. I can also hunt down eight transports. I'm still not sure if hunting down these transports is actually that beneficial, but it would be an interesting challenge for these three ships to deal as much damage to the battlecruiser as they can. So let's begin. And let's take these ships out. Wow, we're close. Okay. That's a lot closer than I was expecting. Slow down to full speed. There's your battlecruiser. Jesus, you're up extremely close in my face. Six kilometers? Yikes. Okay, let's have a look. This is your battlecruiser. With 10 14-inch guns, 12 7-inch guns, 34-inch guns. Uh, sorry, make that 34 4-inch guns. Two 2-inch guns. 12 3-inch guns and another 12 2-inch guns. Are you British or American? Christ, you have a lot of guns. Uh, all heavy cruisers. Target that ship and blow it up with the torpedoes. I want to have all mains on that and I want to have all torps on that. Okay, what about their heavy cruiser? One of them. Eight 8-inch eight guns, a bunch of torpedo launchers there, there, and there. They have 4-inch guns, 15 5-inch guns, 24 2-inch... What's with these ships? Why are you so heavily armed? What the fuck? What about their DD? Um, correction, light cruiser? No, it's another class of heavy cruiser. 7-inch guns, a bunch of 2-inch guns, 3-inch guns, torpedo launchers, there and there, and there. Oh lord. Destroyer, torpedo tubes on the stern, a couple of guns on the bow as offsets. Not that dangerous when it comes to firepower with the guns, but the secondaries, oh, sorry, the torpedo launchers could be very nasty. Fortunately, they won't launch because there's too many ships of theirs in the way. Okay. Now, our first good look at the Rhineland, up close. This heavy cruiser, packed with 12 9-inch guns, torpedo launchers, and 3-inch guns. The 3-inch guns are most likely useful against the transports. Uh, not that useful, I think, against this cruiser. So, if we can hit that... We can't. Too far. Okay. Here we go. Time for the first fight. Torpedo launchers away. Well, torpedoes away from the Rhineland. First Bismarck is still aiming at the target. I suspect... We're immediately taking damage. Which is suspected or expected considering the range at which we're fighting. Torpedoes in the water from the heavy cruiser. Turn away. First Bismarck launched her torpedoes. Admiral Scheer should also be capable of launching hers. Seriously, what is with this cruiser? Well, it's going to be a dead heavy cruiser soon. Look at that flooding. I'm thinking that because of these ships are so heavily armored... Oh, sorry, so heavily armed. Not armored. Armed. That they won't have a lot of capabilities when it comes to defending against impacts. Their armor mobility is probably pretty bad. Because this cruiser is basically dead. Sadly, she is popping some turrets, sorry, some torpedoes in my direction. So I need to turn away. We got torpedoes going here, here, and here. Looks like the torpedoes from their ship, numerous though they might be, are not going to be that deadly. Yet. Torpedoes away from the shear. 
I am afraid that we won't hit that many, though. I really don't like the Shear's position here. You're going to have to continue. Uh, the first Bismarck over there. Because I really don't want these ships to already start getting torpedoed. This ship will get hit by a torp. Considering it's a battle cruiser, it might just blow up nicely. At least their previous counterparts have been known to do that. Let's see. Identification 80%. Identification 98%. I'm very curious to see what else this ship has. Here. A few bulkheads. Slow. Pretty much as expected. Um, 2.7 inches of armor. Oh, it's a light cruiser. Sorry, it's not a heavy. It's a light cruiser. The Bonaventura. Bonaventure. Oh, it's not a Spanish ship. Turbines. Auxiliary 1. Hydraulic steering. Crip 2 armor. I was expecting Crip 4, but I'll take it. Anti-Flood 2. Citadel 5. Reduced ammo for the torps. Increased ammo for the shells. Interesting ship, but sadly not very survivable. <clears throat> what about your PC? Oh, I can't quite see that. Not yet. You're going to take one or two? Boom. Two. Boom. Right on the nose. That's half the battle cruiser done. Uh, no, don't join forces yet. Jeez, that was close. <clears throat> that was really close. She is starting to flood. Not necessarily critically yet. Any more torps in the water? Yeah, ours, but not theirs. The ship has a damaged engine, but not a damaged rudder, so they should be capable of dodging that, depending on their turning circle. Ah, there we go. Battlecruiser Devastation. 39.8 million. Few bulkheads. 1,452 crew. In cramped quarters, so they're already looking at a, a detriment to their damage control. Aux 4 engines, geared turbines 2, shaft 3, crypt 3. Okay. Barbette 4 armor, anti-torp 3. Considering that this is how much damage they took in spite of their anti-flood and sorry, in spite of their anti-torpedo systems, um, that goes a long way to selling the 21 inch torpedoes to me. Are we still under torpedo threat? No, we're not. Turning circle. 672. Not too bad. She might very well be able to dodge this torpedo, although I was really hoping it would hit her in the stern. Can we pen that? Actually, yes. Surprisingly so. We're going to lob HE at that thing and burn it down. Rhineland is in a better position to pen it. So she will. So far, I'd say this is a fantastic opening shot of the war. Look at that accuracy. 32%. Fire on the ship. Very good. Ah, the torpedoes are all going to pass without doing much. Uh, Admiral Shear, I want you to slow down. You're already slowed down to 23 knots, that's fine. Destroyed secondary gun. Can you pen me with 14-inch guns? I imagine you can. Oh yeah, you definitely can. This angle is not going to do a lot of work for me. Damage to the main gun. It's a, a front-heavy battle cruiser, because they got those triple 14s on the bow. Double 14s on the stern. But those 7 inches could be nasty work. Nasty amount of damage. Now my battle... Whoops! Fuck. Um, my heavy cruisers are not... Really... Hold on. Let's not do commentary at the same time. Maximum star return. I don't care if you run into the shear. My heavy cruisers are 37 million. Their battle cruiser is barely more expensive than that. See, and this, right here, is why I wanted that turning circle so damn low. 
Because I was expecting the enemy to have a lot more torpedoes than they normally would. At least relative to previous campaigns. Devastation is still on fire with a damaged engine. There's another torpedo incoming from, I suspect, the Bonaventure. Yeah, I need this thing dead first. It is by far the most critical kill. By far. <clears throat> okay, you boys, well done on that dodge. Proceed, please. You can maintain about half speed. Flooding, yes, good man. That DD of theirs, 16 torpedoes, 22 inch, that's a lot of fire. Oh, sorry, mine torpedoes are also 22 inch. Yes, um, I said 21 before, but they're 22 inch. They are pretty sneaky, minus 38. Not as sneaky as mine, at minus 70 though. Let's put the secondaries to work against the transports. But this is the real prize. Rudder damage, yes. As well as the fire control has been damaged. So their accuracy is sitting at a mere 3%. Mine is sitting at 23% and 35% for the Bismarck. Why are you so terrible? Stereoscopic 3 range finding, that's why. They do have radar. But... With the loss of quite a few crew members, as well as a loss of uh, fire control, the ship is in a pretty terrible state. Should be able to get this guy out of the way, which would reduce, I think, 50% of their battle cruiser strength, would it not? <clears throat> At the same time, I've got to be careful with that, because I have found that if you kill the battle cruisers and other ships too quickly, the war ends extremely quickly as well. Destroyed main gun. Very nice. That's one of their 14 inches out of commission. The ship is burning up. Wait, you have torpedoes? Wow. Unexpected. I'm going to course correct here. Oh, I accidentally hit the Drake. With one of my long running torpedoes. These guys also have few bulkheads, which is the only way that they could stash all those guns and all that speed on there. So that's a nice kill. If Eugenia as a transport there sinks, we pen? No. Stick to HE. Burn it down. Incoming torpedo. Target? The Rhineland. Maintain firepower against the transport partridge. And put the main guns to work. <clears throat> I have so far taken 181 damage and dished out almost 8,000. I have dished out 8,000, in fact. The devastation is not quite living up to its name in the way that it probably thought it would. Is such a lethal blow to that battle cruiser, and with that to the Royal Navy. Flooding, buoyancy dropping to thirty percent. Partridge is dead, courtesy of the three-inch guns. Keeping a somewhat close eye on the Bonaventure because she still has torpedo launchers. These bow and sterns, but I think they won't really dare launch with all those transports in the way. Ship is down to 9% structural and 20% buoyancy. Neither DD has launched torpedoes yet, so that's good. Damage to another main gun. 5%, 3% buoyancy, 2%, 1%. There she goes. The devastation's been destroyed. Very nice work. Now I need to make very short work of the DDs before I get a load of torpedoes flung my way. Which is probably going to happen any moment. So I'm going to slow you down to half speed. Both increasing your stability and firepower and your ability to dodge. 
Destroyed a secondary gun? What? Screw that. Was it that was that your four inch gun? I think I got taken out with a four inch gun, that secondary. Screw that. The Drake is limping away. Well, limping at 24 and a half knots. <clears throat> Let's increase you back to higher speeds. Some damage to the sick, but surprisingly no flooding. Again, few bulkheads. Boys. Learn. Do better than that. Don't torpedo anybody. The Undine is taking a lot of damage here. <laughs> the Undine, and probably the rest of the transports, have more bulkheads than their warships. This is a pretty sad display. Hold off a minute. You launched torpedoes in my direction. We're going to turn that way. You're going to turn that way, because there's the torpedoes. Is that... It's, it's just the four of them. Secondaries on the Parthian. The Brits are once again doing a pretty terrible job keeping their ships alive. Ah, killed 50% of transports, that's nice. But we're not done. Because if we can eliminate some more British ships here, I would gladly do so. And I'm not talking about the transports, I'm talking about their escorts. That's the prize. The sick is down to 20% buoyancy, but fixing extremely quickly. 50%? 60%? Wow. That's impressive. I should just torped again. Port turn. The beaver is down. Who's next? Can you take down the Drake, maybe? The Drake, which... She is in range of 8 inch, 5 inch, 4 inch, and whatever, but <clears throat> she's not shooting. Ah, oh, here come the turrets. <coughs> what was she doing? Was she trying to fight something else? There they go. 4.6% chance to hit. First Bismarck, 12%. Hmm. Strenuous is pretty far away. Folks, the heavy cruiser. Their heavy cruisers are... What? Good lord, look at this. My heavy cruisers are pretty much high-end as can be. They don't have all the gadgets and gizmos, but they have a lot of them. 37 million. Then there's the Drake. And the Drake is 65.8 million. That's insane. I think it's due to their speed. Engine power, and thus the amount of speed that you need, is going to come generally at a ton of price. Look at this. My engines, to do 28 knots, have a 62,463 horsepower engine. These guys have a 251,000 horsepower engine. Finally getting them up to 38 knots. Ideally. That and... Well, just a ship that's basically built out of guns and torpedo tubes is probably what's making this thing so expensive. Also... Um, having such a high-speed ship and then installing the AUX-3 engine is generally not a great idea. <clears throat> yes, you want to have it, I get that. But it generally makes for a ship that is just extremely expensive. The sick has sent her torps, the strenuous still hasn't sent hers. Fine. Chance to pen is very low, so we're going to stick to HE. We need to slow that thing down. I can catch up to it if I really want to. And I do, because I want that dead. That's 65 million of heavy cruiser. 
That's insane. Their battle cruiser was what, 39, I think? 39 million? Their light cruiser is 15 million. It's not nearly as expensive. What's their DD's price? 14.9. Jesus. Oh. Here we go again. 41.8 knots. With an extremely low turning circle. Unbalanced rudder. Electric 2 steering. Okay. 67,834 horsepower. That's still more than my heavy cruisers. <laughs> horsepower and speed isn't everything, boys. It won't necessarily save you. How fast are they going? They are going at top speed, with the exception of the sick, which cannot do full speed. With a couple of flooded compartments. Still, the amount of damage that I've done versus taken is insane. 29,000 versus 254. That's more than a 100 times markup. More than a 100 times markup. These naval fights are fun, but like I said, in the end, Germany always wins. The ship is starting to slow down. 23-4 still. <clears throat> Even at this long range against a small target, and I'm going pretty fast, although, th no, sorry, I'm at cruise speed, I'm still getting 3.5% chance to hit, which is basically more than I had in the 1890s campaign at 2,500 meter range. That goes to show just how much we've teched up since then. These ships have done amazingly well. And all this damage... Look at that. Four and a half thousand damage came out of the three-inch guns. That's because they took down a transport or two. <clears throat> this one... Three torpedo hits for two and a half... Sorry, 2,175 damage. Nine-inch guns did a lot of work. Three-inch guns did not. Because they didn't hunt transports. And the Rhineland... 14,000. The three inch guns, and they did hunt a lot of transports, did 12,595 damage. Nice work, boys. Okay, we're going to increase the flank speed at the cost of accuracy, <clears throat> but I want this thing dead. That is too expensive to let live. And I still don't quite understand how the British afforded a fleet of those. Because this is not just one sort of prototype ship, the Drake. This is part of a class. And they have a bunch more of those. Interestingly, we should be able to kind of reverse engineer what they have. And how much budget they started with. I haven't seen their battleship. But I have seen their DDs, their heavy cruisers, their light cruisers. So, I kind of know most of what they have. There goes the sick, well done. I don't even know whether the DD is at the moment. Destroyed main gun. On the bow. Interesting. Plunging fire, probably. At this rate, this is going to be a really quick campaign. Which I don't like. I want these things to be dragged on for about 10 episodes or so. But at this rate, yikes. It took some doing, but the Devastation, the Drake, and the Sick were sunk. As well as quite a number of their transports. So I start off this second episode with a 6,508 points victory lead. Versus 6 for the British. Total damage done is insane. I did so much more damage than the British did that it came at an, a massive cost to them. Now, as we have seen, um, and I'm going to add these up again, the British battle cruisers cost 39.8 million. So that's expensive. Then we have the heavy cruisers at 65.7 million. So let's say round that up to 65.8. The light cruisers 
Um, where do you go? Here you go. 15.9. Again, very expensive. And then there's DDs with more engine power than my ships at 14.8. Uh, yeah, let's round that up to 14.9 million. Because what I'm curious about is how much money do the British have? How much firepower, or well, economic firepower, that is, do they have? Because based on this, we can come to the following conclusion. Their two battle cruisers are together 78 million. Their six heavy cruisers, they only have five left, came to a whopping 395 million. Their light cruisers, they had 14. That was 15.9 15 million per, so that's 206 million. And their 16, make that 17 DDs, 238 million. So at least, at least they have 917 million plus three battleships. Now, I haven't seen those guys yet, so I don't know what sort of price point they have. If mine are anything to go by, that's probably another 300 million. Bringing their total uh, finances to approximately 1.2 billion, for starters, as opposed to my 600 million or so, 630 I think it was. So the Brits have a lot more economic firepower than I do, but if it, well, if this episode and this encounter is anything to go by, my firepower might be less numerous, but way more effective. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that fight. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments, and I'll see you soon for the next episode.